Hello guys hope you all are good welcome to another interesting video on process simulation driven by Flexim 2023 so in today's video we are going to explore the area of database connector which we already have a feature in Flexim where we can connect our Flexim model to the database for data transfer from Flexim and to Flexim from the server so in this video we are going to take it drill it down from top to bottom so stay with us till end of the video so without wasting much of the time let's begin so you could see two screens here one screen on the left side is our flexim modeling screen and the screen which you see on the right side is basically microsoft sql screen so this is the database dummy database we have created for the trial purpose so the data will be transferred from this database to this sql server and will be taken from this sql server into our flexim model so when you click on this toolbox plus direction you can check it in the connectivity we have a feature named database connector so i have already made a small example here with connecting it to this of the database we will be understanding this in further video so if you look at this database connector this is the screen which will open when you double click the database connector we are having lot many options for db here we have sql server we have mysql oracle post gre sql sql lite odbc and so on but we are going to explore this database connector using microsoft sql server so i have selected a database type here as sql server and i have entered the database address login id test and login password so i'll just show you the demo how it basically works i'll make this small so what i have done is if you go to the import and when you click on this global table here when you click on import now the database value gets imported onto this global table if you could look at and i have already checked this automatically on reset importing will be done from the database to the flexi model so whenever i will click reset the database data will be pulled by flexim from the sql server so this is importing i'll make this zero and again show you when i click on reset you can see 6 11 8 these are the database values being calculated and taken basically imported from the sql server so i have created three stations a1 a2 a3 with a cycle time given here 50 30 40 the respective cycle time is feeded in the respective stations so this is our a1 station this is our a2 station and this is our a3 station so the cycle time is feeded in the properties of the processor here you can see we have made it with global table lookup using database table sql server now this production column if you could look at here we are also having in the database in sql server this is basically the actual production output count from the stations so what i am going to do is basically i am going to go to the export tab you could look at in the database we are having one tab as import one tab as export when you click here you need to export this by clicking on this export now and the data which is available in this global table will be transferred to the sql server database we can also make it dynamic and we will learn that in the uh, featured program videos which we will be having on our website so that would be basically a dynamic model to create an export now so i'll just show you how this database connector works how the data is transferred how importing and exporting is done so basically i am doing it reset now i'm running it so i'll start running and what you could see is the values are changing now these data values are inside our flexim global table which are updated from this individual processors output value so the number of parts been out from the stations are been updated here but if you could look on the right side screen which is sql query basically which is sql database here the data is not yet updated so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to click on this export now button 
So the moment I'm going to click on this export now button, the data is going to get transferred to this production value. So I'll just click on this and I'll make apply and I'll make it export now. Export now. Once we have exported, I'll go into the right side screen, which is my SQL database. I'm going to trigger this execute. So if you look at when I make it execute, the data which was transferred at that time will be reflected in my database. So I'll make it export now and I'll make it execute. You got C396549. So now it's C. It's 41, 68, 69, 52. I'll click export now. I'll make it execute. And this is the updated value 42, 70 and 52. So this is how it works. Basically, uh, what we are doing is we are refreshing uh, the values in the booth area. So what I'm doing is in the from the flex cement, I'm clicking on export. Now, the moment I do the data is transferred to the database. Now what I'm doing to visualize it, I'm refreshing this code of query and it will show me the value which has been sent to my database of Microsoft SQL. So this is how the database connector works. You could look at importing. What we are doing is on the reset, the moment I make a reset model, I'm going to have the values which are available in the database being imported to my FlexSim. When I go to the export tab and click on the export now, this data is transferred to my SQL server database and you could see. So we have seen how the data is transferred, how it has been executed. We are going to bring a featured program on database connector, which will be available. You can access it from our behavior channel dot com. Basically, it would be a paid version. So we will be bringing in detail video of how to create a Microsoft SQL database, how to create logins, how to create users, how to create a DB in that. Then we are going to bring how to establish a connection between the FlexSim and the MySQL database. What is this database address? What is this test? How to connect FlexSim to the SQL database? And then we are ready to transfer the data. So this all will be available in our feature program, which will be coming on our beaverchannel.com, which will be a paid version. We will be bringing it soon. If you haven't visited our website, you can watch and visit there in the featured program in the simulation tab. You can see that database connectors is coming soon. So the moment featured program database connectors videos will be coming out, will be released. The prices will also be released on the website. Do visit the website, check out the prices, check out the featured program for database connectors and it is going to be a very wonderful learning for you do like share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet we will meet in another interesting video which would be coming soon till then take care jai hind